All right, guys. Today we picked up the TRX4M from Sheldon's Hobbies in San Jose. They had a couple on the shelf. Um, he said they were flying off the shelf. So I grabbed one real quick. Um, got a special guest star on the channel here today. You guys may remember John Boy from uh, the early SCX24 days when we first started this channel. So, John Boy, you want to get in there and do the honors and op open that bad boy up? So the guy literally had eight, sold two today, and he had, what, six left? So Bobby picked up the Bronco. Jesus Christ. Picked up oh, the, there we go. the white Bronco. Yep. So it's all nice and dirty. Yep. All right, what do we got here right off the bat? What do we got here? What is this? All right, we have the... Uh, of course, we get the normal swag pack. Yeah, swag pack from Traxxas. You know, some clips for your shocks, Allen keys, all the normal nonsense. Excellent. What do we have here? Oh, yeah. Ball of plastic. Good. Nice. Ball of plastic. All right, there she is. The TRX4M 118th scale white Bronco. Very nice. Nice clean body. I think we've got some mirrors. Nice. Unfoldable. Hopefully they don't break off. Oh, uh, they will. We got a little spare tire cover. Probably nothing in it. Definitely nothing in it. Yep. Nice. Don't feel like anything. Nice. Uh, cool. What are, the, are those plastic links or those metal? Them? Plastic. No. They felt like metal for a second. Well, as always with any crawler, everything is plastic. Let's pop the lid off of it. There's two little clips. One in the. Nope, yeah, little quick releases here. Yeah, little quick release clips. That's no cool. body, No body clips? I like that. More realistic looking. Oh, what do we got here? All right. For, is this a forward facing motor? Uh, uh, well, it's forward mounted, but it goes back into the transfer case. Looks like we have a battery tray here, ESCs in the back. So, yeah, 87 turn reverse rotation. So, you got to keep in mind of that. If they start coming out with pop up motors. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And we were talking to the guy at the shop, and he was saying that nobody makes anything for these yet. There's no aluminum parts. There's no brass parts. These were just released, what, November? Like, not even a month yeah, ago? Yeah, about a couple weeks back. A couple weeks ago? Yeah. So, of course, you know, we have to snag one. What yeah. we got here? A little mini, little mini servo? Yeah, it looks like one of their little mini waterproof... Tracks of servos. Nice. How's the ESC? ESC waterproof? Um, I mean, I'm oh, sure. Probably not. It's the, what does it say? ECM 2.5? So 2.5 gigahertz? Or 2.4? Yeah. It's probably an easy it's, setup. It's probably not. I don't know. We'll have to look, we'll look a little bit into that. <coughs> uh, right off the bat, this sort of uh, resembles the TRX four. Well, I would say sport because I had the sport. I'm not sure about the TRX four, but the TRX four sport has shock towers much like this. So that's kind of cool. Lots of suspension travel. Uh, oh, not too great on the flex. I think well, I won't. look at the box. That's probably because they're actual oil filled shocks. Yeah, so you actually oh, get little shocks with those. And it looks like there's, they got some kind of valving, like a rubber seal. Seal's gone. It's gone. <laughs> you wore it out. <laughs> Steel frame rails, 87 turn motor. Check. It comes with a battery char and charger. Check. Little oh. 
Got a little, so, we got a little baby battery. Yeah, a little 7.4 volt, two cell, seven fifty off. Put the battery in. It doesn't say if the uh, Oh, the control is water. Little guy. Look at that little guy. Little guy, just a little guy. Just a little guy. And unfortunately. Nice. I think I have to have another charger. Oh, look, there's three lines going into this and no balance lead. Did they make this a smart charge? Yeah, no, I'm assuming it has that single balance lead. I don't know. What do we got here? What's the charger look like? This is your charger. So. Standard, like an SCX24, plug into a little USB charger. You got a tip? Just the tip. Just the tip. Nice. Three, little three prong. Mm -hmm. Little weird, weird connector. Tracks has never done before. Nobody else does. Nice. Make it unique. Exactly. Right? Exactly. So you can't just buy yeah, it. You can't just buy batteries for it. You have to buy the actual battery unless you change the connector. And to avoid the warranty. <laughs> you do get the full size controller. Nice. Nice, that's good. But you know what? The only thing that sucks about these is you can't really reach. Yeah, unless so, you got gargantuan thumbs. Yeah, unless you're like a bass player or something, I guess. But uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to 3D print a little thing right there so I can, you know, with my thumb, one hand, so I can get some some video for you guys. Um, right off the bat, <sighs> these tires look like they're not that great. Um, I could be wrong. I just don't really feel that great. Hey, can you Are me? they the same size as these? Can you hear me? Is that... um, I bought these tires right here. They are Enjora All Terrain. As you can see, they just came in today. I literally got out of the car with this in hand and went to the mailbox and grabbed these. That's them right there. Professional tires, obviously. Only the best. <laughs> Only the best. Of course, no part number or anything on them. Yep, nothing. There you go, guys. There's your parts list. Sorry. Straight from the um, main car. So these rims, because they don't have any aftermarket parts for these. No, I'm wondering if the hexes are the same size inside as the SEX24s. Because if they are, then I can just put in some 1.0 beadlock rims on it, put these tires on it, boom, we already got a more aggressive tire, taller, wider, more better, more better boy, more better. So we didn't talk much about the body, but it does look like the headlight buckets do come with provisions for LEDs. Oh uh, yeah. So. You can put LEDs in the actual And in the rears, too. Grill. You can do brake lights, too? Yeah. So that'd be pretty nice. Right. Body's pretty that's nice a, on this body. That's a really nice, yeah. It, it is a hard body, so we'll see how it holds up. But, I mean, fairly detailed. But, I mean, it is Traxxas, so you know, got, they don't skimp on that. They got some, they got some windshield wipers. Oh, oh hell yeah. So you can see when you're mudding. I do wish they would have done like the half and tiers how the SCX 24s are on their Broncos. Yeah. But at the same price point, we're going to see, you know. You know what I do like about this body though is it is much like my TRX 4 Sport where these weren't, these runners weren't mounted to the body, but the body would sit into the runner and the runner yeah, was on the frame. I do like how these are here. And it's also separated a little bit right there. So you can cut these off in the future and you know make it look way more aggressive, but still keep your sliders. So, you know, it takes up that that space in the middle right there so you don't get hung up on a rock. I mean, I'm I'm betting to say that Traxxas is, is eventually gonna make this in a 24 scale. I mean, they have it in a 10, now they went down to 18. But it's, it's gonna be. Why would they not go to? Why would they not want to compete with Axial with the twenty fours? You know. I mean, I think they kind of messed up, just you know, not doing a twenty fourth in the first place because everybody has a twenty fourth. Well, now, now how popular the twenty fours are, I think Traxxas is realizing that, and they're slowly trying to get to that point. You know, they're filling the void where 
because Axial doesn't have an 18 scale yet, do they? The Capra, I've seen they have an 18 scale. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure actually. But not the crawler bodies, right? I don't think so. No, I haven't seen anything. That'll be interesting scale. to see if Axial comes out with an 18 scale to compete with this Traxxas then. Yeah. But I mean, I, I love the 24 scale just for how you can just play with it anywhere. Yeah, you play the inside, rainy day, crawl over the desktop, your yeah, computer, take keyboard, work. take it to work, yeah. play with it on the shitter. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, I was, I used to. <laughs> I think we all have. Anyway, but yeah, let's uh, let's end this video, and I'm actually gonna pop these on to some SCX24 rims, and then see if the rims fit on there. And if they do, you guys will be seeing a short. All right, guys. If you like this video, like and subscribe. Stay tuned. We're going to have more footage of this brand new TRX4M 118th scale Bronco made by Traxxas. Boom.